Let's talk about it because we're all talking about it. The smoke from Canada is just here and everywhere, it seems. Images going viral from New York City like this one. Orange tinted scenes that look more like the planet Mars. Yeah, smoke has spread across much of the tri-state area due to those wildfires Scott was talking about burning in Canada. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones now joins us live from New Haven. And Marcy, we understand that New Haven opened a shelter there for people to go to. That's right, just a couple of blocks away from us on Orange Street, just to provide a little bit of relief for some folks so that they can get out of the uh, haze that has been around for a while. Now, right now, experts say in the medical field that it's really important just to try and limit your exposure to this really poor air quality that we're seeing in some areas. The main message is to spend as little time as possible outdoors, and if you have to be in an area where the air quality is particularly poor, it's suggested to wear an N95 mask. Doctors say it's important to note that a cloth mask will not do anything to protect you. It's important to keep in mind, for most, the smoke can be uncomfortable but won't cause substantial damage. However, for young children, pregnant women, and those with compromised lungs or heart conditions, they should definitely take extra precaution. Back out here live, thankfully, as Scott has been saying all morning, there is light at the end of this orange-colored tunnel. We will be seeing this lifting. Hopefully, by Saturday, things will be relatively back to normal. Reporting live in New Haven, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Marcy, thank you. And keep it here for team coverage on the smoke concerns. We have an interactive map that details air quality conditions near where you live. You can find it anytime on the WFSB, the Channel 3 app. I just sent it to my husband. Very helpful stuff. Also